BYU is thrilled to have back Yona Pritchard, the 244-pound fullback, returns after breaking his leg during the first play of the first scrimmage last fall. Well, and that was last August, 12 months ago. True Blue's Corey Aldis has his story. Just one year ago, running back Yona Pritchard's season ended before it even started. A broken leg in a fall scrimmage led to a medical red shirt, but now Pritchard is back on the field, and he's already gaining the praise of those around him, including BYU head coach Bronco Mendenhall. Physical, fast, good football player, good blocker, great ball skills out of the backfield. He's a complete football player. At six feet and a rock-solid 244 pounds, Pritchard has plenty to offer, and coaches say he'll see a blend of playing time at both fullback and tailback. He's a guy that can do both that way, and, and we're not worried about him in pass protection, nor are we worried about throwing the ball to him. He's a really good receiver, so uh, across the board, he just has a lot of ability. I just go out there and try to do my best, whether I'm blocking or running. I just try to do the best that I can. If I'm blocking, I want to block for the back. I want to make a, a good block, a solid block, and if I'm running, I don't want to go down. The last time Yona Pritchard came out of this tunnel to play here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, 2008. But that's not a concern as his all-around abilities make him one of BYU's top options out of the backfield. Pritchard's vast skill set has drawn comparisons to a familiar name in the BYU books, the great Manasseh Tonga. Though he's honored by the compliment, he understands the need to prove that comparison on the field. It's really hard to say right now comparing me to Manasseh because Manasseh's made it to the game field. I haven't been there yet, um, but you know, I want a lot of opportunities to be able to perform to the best that I can to showcase what I can do for the team. Pritchard is poised to contribute to the team in a variety of ways, and those watching would be wise to keep an eye out for number five. Corey Aldis, BYU TV Sports.